Malik Mello representing Toronto, Ontario. This is one big boy, sir. YBG on his trunk, standing for young, black, and gifted. He is certainly that. Getting an emergency call up on this card. This was originally supposed to be Bishop's spot, but Big Fish currently battling some injuries. And with that comes opportunity for a young and hungry big dog like Malik Mello, the biggest man in NEW, finally getting a chance befitting of his stature. Now one thing about Malik Mello, yes, he's big, but this guy can also fly, Justin. I bet $400 on heavy bet. 400 as you're looking to work your way out of the hole that your bets have placed you in so far this year. You've been gambling on the matches. It has not gone great for you. But much more than five riding on this one. It's Heavy Metal and Malik Mello set to square off. And just like we were talking about earlier this afternoon when it came to Michael Richard Blaze, another big debut in NEW for one of the top talents in all of Alberta. A man that we are seeing make his way out into a Nation Extreme Wrestling ring for the very first time. You know, it's apropos to ask this at a baseball uh, stadium, but this isn't a Pete Rose situation. I'm allowed to bet on oh, these matches, right? Absolutely. Okay, yes. good. So you, you will still go into the Wrestling Commentary Hall of Fame. Don't you worry about it. Well, thing. I've got a lot of work to do still to get there, but thankfully I won't be disqualified because of my betting. These two men look like every bit the equal of the other thus far. I wonder, can the ring withstand some of the action here with these two? You said during his entrance, Malik Mello, no stranger to that top turnbuckle. He looks like a guy who would specialize in the power game, and he certainly does that as well. But he is not afraid to take flight, and we'll see if that proves to be a factor here in this one. You gotta be a five-tool player if you're gonna get anywhere in NEW, and when he hits that big top rope flying elbow drop, it is a sight to behold. I heard Rob Fay mention during his entrance as well that he represents the six. That's in more ways than one, not just from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, but of course, a member of the six, that crew that includes Clutch Jesse V and the Golden Gun Mark Wheeler as well. Only a matter of time before his tag mates in that trio make their way back out to NEW as well. Big shoulder block to the small of the back from Luke Mello. And this is my first time laying eyes on heavy metal in person, but for a man who calls himself the healer, he certainly loves to inflict damage. You are going to hear his strikes no matter what seat you've got here at Matt Bailey today. He hits and he hits hard. Well, he's got a bit of a hero complex, clearly. He's going to hurt you so he can heal you. Of course. Justifying his own existence. You have to be broken before you can be rebuilt. And he is in the process of breaking Malik Mello as we speak. A huge tope suicida through the ropes caught Mello on the outside and hit him right into the barricade. He's struggling back to his feet. You don't want to leave a guy like Malik Mello just laying there and jump in the crowd and, and showboat and hot dog and grandstand. You got to stay on a guy like that. Big chops from heavy metal as he continues to ingratiate himself to this West Coast crowd, many of whom, I believe just like you and I up here in the booth, are laying eyes on as I said, one of the top talents in Alberta for the very first time as he teased that he was going to throw Malik Mello to the, into the stands and fight into the crowd. The crowd has not seen enough of that already this afternoon. They were hoping to see more of it, but instead he'll send Malik back into the ring and flip the bird at the viewing audience instead. Oh, Malik. Healer mounting Malik Mello and just raining down punches on his head. Malik covering up here. Once again, heavy metal just showboating to the crowd. And Malik Mello is a man who has struggled to find a direction over the last year here in NEW. 
Had a short-lived partnership with Sloan that kicked off back at NEW2 at the Vancouver Convention Center at the Pinnacle. Had a great showing in the Chase for the Championship Tournament. I believe another call-up situation against Anton Alexiev. A classic bar brawl at NEW3. He's found himself partnered, of course, as we mentioned, with Clutch Jesse V and the Golden Gun Mark Wheeler of late. But can the healer, Heavy Metal, present him with an enticing offer and recruit Malik Mello into his ranks before this match comes to a close? Well, I think one thing working against the healer is he's from Calgary, not Toronto. If he's from Toronto, maybe he's got a shot, but I don't think a Toronto guy is going to pair up with a Calgary guy. You never know, Nazem Kadri, now a member of the Calgary Flames. That's right. Though yeah. he did By block a trade, but he, he blocked a trade to Calgary at one point in his career, so reluctantly, we should say. As we get back to the action in the ring, heavy metal dishing out elbows along the ropes. Heavy metal looking for a big suplex. <laughs> Suplexes don't get much bigger than that when they involve lifting Malik Mello clean over your shoulders. And the impact of that one could be heard in the dugouts from neighboring Hillcrest Park. It looked like it took a lot out of heavy metal too. Lifting a guy like that over your head and slamming him to the mat, that's, that's gonna sap your strength for sure. Malik Mello looking across the ring at the man calling himself Heavy Metal, probably thinking he ain't heavy. Stiff forearm shots to the small of the back of Malik Mello. And again, he might not have the size advantage in this match, but there is no lack of strength in Heavy Metal. He hits like a truck. Mello coming back now, a couple body shots. Quick drop kick from Heavy Metal, turns the tide. That cover, however, perhaps not quick enough. He hesitated before hooking the knee, and now we're able to kick out at two. But about those kickouts, you gotta wonder, I mean, with the targeting of the small of the back from Heavy Metal, how much that hurts Malik Mello at this stage of the match to kick out? A lot of his offense focusing on that spine, in fact. Think about the impact of that suplex we saw on Malik not too long ago. That's right. It's a strategy that just might pay off for heavy metal, but at the moment, this crowd is chanting for Malik Mello. Big Lariat just missed the target, and a backdrop from heavy metal. That one was heavy, all right. You see the dirt here from Nat Bailey Stadium in the ring just popping up when that suplex hit. Referee Joe King with the two count. That sleeveless Joe. Sun's out, gun's out. Ah, and so does your old lady. Yeah. Metal mocking this crowd here at Nat Bailey Stadium, trying to trick them into clapping along. Some falling for it. The healer has some followers in this crowd. Not many, but that was quite a creative bit of offense for Heavy Metal Mello still able to kick out. Like an inverted senton from the second rope there. Very impressive. I mean, shit. No question the power of that impact. She's die, you understand me? Heavy Metal. Stiff forearm shot, trying to get Malik Mello with that Irish whip. Malik Mello's not going to move if he doesn't want to. Like a tree planted on the banks of a mighty river, Malik Mello shall not be moved. Whoa! So now he brings up heavy metal, looking for a fallaway slam, and he'll get every bit of it. Oh my! All the way out of the ring with that fallaway slam from Malik Mello. That impact looks like it may have shattered the ring as Malik puts the baseboards back in place. My goodness, what a fallaway slam. The power of Malik Mello knows no bounds as he's looking skyward as we said he would. Here he goes, Jordan. Grounds crew, watch out. Cross 
nice body for Malik Mello! He must have got an extra six, seven feet off of that jump easily. Wow! And heavy metal. Heavy metal's out. Chance of Malik ringing through Nat Bailey Stadium. This crowd definitely appreciates seeing the big man get up there. Heavy metal's been quieted to such an extent he might be more like folk music right now. He's able to get a big boot into the face of Malik who hits him with a lariat. Heavy metal keeps popping back to his feet, however. More soft rock adult contemporary. Oh, I'm worried about my bet, Justin. $400 riding on this one. It's Malik looking to bring up heavy metal. Can he finish him off with a massive sit-down powerbomb into a pinfall? This has got to be it. Heavy metal able to kick out. Okay. All right. Grounds crew out here in Nat Bailey Stadium, really worse for wear. We got a lot of people limping around the, the stadium here. Right now the grounds crew heading back to the medical tents. <laughs> Heavy metal might join them there yeah. momentarily. Say, keep some room free. <laughs> Power of Heavy Metal able to force Malik Mello to the outside of the ring. Passing him over the top rope onto the apron. Does make it easy for Malik to get up top, but this time Heavy Metal was ready for in Seguri to Malik Mello's shoulder. Malik's in a bad way here, perched on that top rope. Can Heavy Metal take advantage, however? He's got a big smile on his face. I think he knows what lays ahead of him right now. But can he strike fast enough to make it happen? Unloading shots into the chest and face of Malik Mello, and now Heavy Metal going up top to the very top rope, in fact. Are we about to see a superplex? Oh, incredible! I hope that's a reinforced ring. That has to be 500 pounds of man coming crashing down on that superplex, and somehow Mello stays alive. I can't believe it. This crowd definitely appreciating the fight of Malik Mello here. I'm not the only one who can't believe it. Heavy Metal now getting into the face of referee Joe King, insisting that that had to be three. Nevertheless, this fight continues at any W8. It's base brawl action at Nat Bailey Stadium. Two heavy hitters. This is like Sosa versus McGuire. Driving him into the corner. Run, run. Oh, big running drop kick into the corner from Malik Mello. He's got the speed too, Justin. What an impact. Definitely one of the fastest rising stars here in the Pacific Northwest. Malik Mello earning himself a lot of new fans and supporters here at Nat Bailey Stadium at NEW8. And we talked about the opportunity being afforded him here this afternoon due to the Injury to Bishop. He's having one heck of a showing, but what are we about to see here? Heavy metal up on the shoulders of Malik Mello, able to reverse out of it, and now heavy metal's gonna carry him for a sit-down power oh. of his own. Oh, oh. oh my goodness, that's gotta be it for Malik Mello. Double underhook, what's Heavy Metal looking for here? A pile oh. driver, head first, Mello hits the apron. Cash it. And Heavy hey. Metal takes the win in his NEW debut. Much to the delight of yes. my partner, Jordan Bowman, who bet big. Footlong hot dogs for everyone. And I am concerned right now about the health and safety of Malik Mello, given the spike he just took head first off that 
package pile driver. Please do not think my excitement means I am not also concerned about Malik Mello after that spike pile driver. But he's in the ring with the healer, Justin. It's true, we might not be the only ones concerned about his well-being as the man who just delivered that damage with a kiss to the forehead of his unconscious opponent. The healer, hoping that one day Malik Mello will walk in the light behind him. That day is not today, but Heavy Metal with a huge win here, nevertheless.